Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys a really cool trick that an electrician friend showed me that they sometimes use in order to install a second switch or a three-way switch so that you're able to operate your lights, for instance, from two different locations. And they do it without having to run any additional wiring to that second switch. So that means no traveler wires or anything like that. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to do it, the device that's used in order to make it all possible, and you can actually use this device to dim your lights and you can control it from your phone if you would like to. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's go. Now the device that's gonna make this all possible is this one right here. It is the Cassetta Wireless Dimmer Kit and it's made by Lutron. And you can pick this up numerous places and I'll also have links down in the description where you can check it out as well. Okay, so this is pretty much everything that comes in the kit so we can turn that regular light switch into a three-way switch. So this is the light switch that's going to be taking the place of the current light switch. And then this is going to be the second switch. This is everything you need in order to turn a standard light switch into a three-way switch, essentially. Now, I bought the bigger kit so that I can operate it with my phone and also use my Echo Dot if I wanted to. So you would have to get this smart hub and of course it comes with the charging cord and an ethernet cord. But if you don't care about it working on a cell phone or some sort of smart device and you're good with just having these two switches, then this is all you need. You don't need this upgraded kit. So this is going to be the switch we're gonna be replacing. This is just a standard dimmer switch, but we want this to be a three-way switch. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that the power is off. So Go to your main panel and shut off the power that supplies the power to this switch. Once that circuit breaker is off, I always check it with a multimeter just to make sure that everything is in fact off. And now I can remove all the wires that are currently attached to the light switch that's in the wall. All right, so now that we've got the old switch removed, I'm gonna show you here on the back of this new switch what we've got. So we've just got three wires on this new switch. There's this green wire, which of course is our ground wire. And then we've got these two black wires. You can hook either one of these two wires up to either one of these two wires. Uh, it, it makes no difference at all. All right, so now that we've got the wires all straightened out, we're gonna go ahead and start by wiring up first this ground wire. And all you gotta do is just match it up with the copper wire coming out of the box and just start twisting it on, keeping it up towards the top of that bare copper wire once you've got it just started, then you can take a wire nut and put it on top of those wires and twist it on, twisting those two wires together. So now we'll wire up our two black wires. And again, it does not matter which one of these is hooked to which black wire for this particular switch. And then once you've got the wire nuts on, just give each wire a little tug to make sure that they're not gonna come out. All right, so now we've got everything wired up on this switch. We can go ahead and push everything into the back of this box. All right, so now we're gonna take our screws. And then once you've got them started, go ahead and screw them down tight. And then you can go ahead and put your cover on your light switch box. So this is where installing this second switch is pretty cool. As you can see, I've got one box here with a light switch in it. And this light switch is a three-way switch that controls the lights in the kitchen. So I also want to be able to install this second switch right next to it that's going to complete our three-way switch installation. In most cases, where of course you'd have to run wiring, you'd also have to cut this out for a double box. This is what then the second switch mounts into. And then the cover will go over the top. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this cover piece on there so that I know where I'm gonna be putting my holes for that clear piece. Now I'm gonna take my drill and I'm gonna drill out my pilot holes in order to mount that plastic piece to the wall. Now that I've got my pilot holes, I can insert my anchors. Now I can take that clear mounting bracket and put it right up against the wall and start inserting the screws into those anchors. Once you've got your clear mounting bracket in place, then you can take your second switch and flip it over and on the back, you'll see this, it's a piece of tape here that if you wanted to, instead of having it look real nice with a trim piece around it, you could just tape it to the wall and it would slide off of this clear piece that adheres to whatever surface. What You can even put it on glass if you wanted to. 
but in this case it's going on to this mounting bracket so once you've got that removed then you can just take that switch and slide it down onto that clear mounting bracket like so and then you can proceed to install your cover for your switch so now let's show you how to program this switch to the wired switch so the next step to program these is we're gonna have to hold this bottom button down or the off button down for approximately six seconds and then once we've held it down long enough these lights over here on the left will start blinking all right so back over here at the second switch just hold down that bottom button for about six seconds and so now you see this top light is blinking so that's just letting us know that the programming is complete and these two switches are now communicating with each other and so now we have our three-way switch now just to briefly go over these buttons what they do this is obviously your off button this is your on button and then these are your dimmer buttons to bring the lights down or put them brighter so these are all the steps you would need in order to take a standard switch and turn it into a three-way switch without running any wires this is just the standard kit but now i'm going to go and install the hub and show you a little bit about how you can then with installing the hub run these lights using your phone or a smart device like an echo dot or a google home device installing the hardware really is as easy as plugging it into a wall and then connecting it to your modem or router via a ethernet cord from there you're going to need to download the lutron app onto your phone or your tablet using either the google play store or the app store so once the app is installed now you can just set up all of your settings and the app is going to walk you through all of the steps step by step it's super easy to do and then you can get into the fun part where you can start turning your switch on and turning it off using that phone once it's all connected to the hub you can also dim the lights to whatever level you would like as well now the app also allows you to set schedules so say for instance you're going out of town and you want your lights to come on at a certain time and also shut off at a certain time you can set up schedules in order for it to do that and you are able to set these schedules for whatever days you are wanting for your lights to come on or turn off you're able to set the time to whatever time you want them to come on and then also then set a schedule to turn them off or you can set it to sunrise and sunset and then you can select which lights you would like the schedule to control if you have multiple lutron devices in the house you can do it all within the app I've actually used these schedules a few times when we've gone on vacation and they've worked great. So I hope that this video was helpful and it's gonna make things easier and safer in order to install that second switch that you've been wanting or maybe now want to have. If it was helpful, please let me know by giving the video a thumbs up. And of course, if you have any questions at all, I always welcome them down in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. See ya.